Hi, it's me. I really, I, I don't think that anyone likes me. Let's just water weight. Nikocado Avocado, the internet's favorite vegan. Now this video is not titled to just reflect your average Nikocado Avocado content. You know, Nikocado is insert buzzword here dot dot dot. Pretty much how everybody, including myself, has titled their Nikocado videos before. I am genuinely starting to believe that Nikocado has become deluded. I don't think he's seeing an accurate picture of reality anymore. The video we're going to be watching today is one of his most recent uploads and in it he's very calm, he's collected, he's not putting on his normal act and I think that's the most worrisome part. He's being what I think is 100% serious and is making some of the most outrageous claims I have ever heard come out of his mouth. And this is not stuff that is like up for debate, they are just pure objective falsehoods and he is trying to pass them off as reality. I don't want to get too wordy on the intro so I'm just gonna show you. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hi, it's me. I really, I, I don't think that anyone likes me. At all. I think most people watching this don't like me. I think 99% of people watching this don't care. So that's pretty much the premise of this video. Nick Akato saying that people don't like him anymore. And while undoubtedly there are people who don't like Nick Akato, that's just life, I think most people just dislike his way of life. I think that most people can see that he is putting himself into an early grave and they don't like seeing that happen to somebody. I don't think it's that people don't like Nick Akato himself, I just don't think they like his actions and he's taking that as a personal attack. And I just... I, I have a question to you. Do you like me? Do you care about me? Do you come back? Do you look forward to my videos? Um. Click the link. Jesus Christ, for a second I actually thought this was gonna be a serious video. No, we gotta plug that cameo, baby. No matter the context, Patreon and cameo must be plugged on this channel. No exceptions. And as a creator, who's dedicated and who's hustling, who shows up to the plate, rain or shine. Um, and just to see the nasty, nasty comments, like they're, they're getting to an increased level a worsening level. All right, so this is something I don't doubt. I don't think that he's exaggerating here. I'm sure that Nikocado receives many a hateful comments on the internet. And while I don't think it's justified, he's kind of brought it upon himself in a way, constantly challenging people in the videos to say stupid things, attacking people saying it's your fault, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he is definitely baiting out these comments. And if it's starting to get to him, maybe instead of blaming the people that are doing exactly what he wants, Maybe it's time to change the act. And as a creator, I keep saying creator, you know, a creator. I'm a creator, right? I'm creating. You know? Um, I'm putting out YouTube shorts now on my new channel, Nikocado Shorts. And it doesn't involve eating. And that's literally what everyone's asking me to do. Stop eating food on camera. Stop eating things that are making you fat, even though it's just water weight. Um, um, excuse me. Back up for a second, please. Did this man just shit his pants in the middle of this lecture and then just go on like nothing happened? You can't just do that and then not even address it. Why can't you just do things that have nothing to do with food? That's literally what I've been doing. So this right here is the main motivation behind why I titled this video the way I titled it. I don't know how he could possibly say this statement with a straight face. I mean, in this video we're watching right now, he eats like 17 buckets of fried chicken. And that short channel that he does, it's not like it's exclusive content. It is just clips taken from videos where he's eating food. I seriously cannot even begin to comprehend how he does doesn't think that he is making content about food. And I, and I was really, really looking forward to YouTube Shorts because it could be something else, something else that, yeah, doesn't involve eating because that's what everyone wants me to do. Everyone says they don't. Okay, here's the thing. Um, 
why well, if you don't like something, why are you there engaging with it? So this is a pretty valid question, I think. I used to get called out on this a lot when I used to make a bunch of Darman videos. People were always like, if you hate it so much, then why do you seem to always be watching it? And I really think it boils down to the idea that not supporting something or not liking something does not necessarily mean it's not entertaining. Like, for example, cringe compilations used to be huge. You don't exactly enjoy the feeling of secondhand embarrassment, but a lot of people watch them because they're entertaining. I mean, people say it's so bad it's good for a reason. And when you factor in that a lot of people have absolutely nothing better to do than just going around spreading hate on the internet, I mean, there are people who script bots to dislike videos when certain content creators upload. I mean, some people just really have nothing better to do than be negative. Take this and then add on with the kind of videos that Nikocado makes. There's going to be a bunch of people who are watching the videos that don't necessarily like what they're watching. I think it's because no one, no one really cares. And also there's this culture here where you got, you got to leave your opinion. You got to leave your comment. You know, YouTube's all about that interaction. Make sure you leave your comment. But put yourself in my shoes. What do you, if, if you were in my shoes right now, what would you feel? Imagine being in my shoes right now and putting all this work into making videos and the reaction is what I get. Imagine being in my shoes. How would you feel? Alright, so as a person who does YouTube full-time along with school, I am very reluctant to say that YouTube is not hard. Because I mean it is. A lot of people underestimate just how much goes into making videos. I probably spend 35, 40, 45 hours a week just on YouTube. However, with that being said, as far as I can tell, Nick Okado does not really edit or plan his videos. He just kind of talks for an hour or so and then pretty much uploads the raw footage. Maybe like an extra 30 30 minutes to make a thumbnail and put in all the cameo and Patreon stuff, but I really can't imagine Nikocado spends more than an hour or two on YouTube a day. So I find it just a little bit in poor taste to say, oh, poor me for doing all of this work, what do I get? Some hate comments? Well, you also get like a million dollars a year just off of this second channel alone, not to mention your main channel that does even better. I'm not saying he deserves hate in any sort of way, but I mean every public figure is going to get some criticism and I think it's probably manageable and you're not really in a position where you need pity when you are making seven figures a year from just eating food. What I ate on camera was all the junk I ate for the whole day. I actually had some lettuce, I had a dragon fruit, I had some pistachios, I had some orange juice, and I also had some broccoli. And, you know, I felt great. I felt really, really good. I'm like, okay, get my little cheat meal during the day, and I get to eat healthy off camera. Oh, I'm having so much fun. And then I look at the feedback from yesterday's video. All right, so this is the last thing I'm gonna harp on because pretty much everything else I could cover in this video I've done a million times before. And I'm really just trying to highlight the idea that this guy is super out of touch with reality and I don't know if he can get back in touch. His little cheat meal the day prior was four deluxe Chick-fil-A sandwiches, a cup of macaroni, three large fries, and a chicken wrap, adding up to a grand total of 4,460 calories calories in a single meal. Now if you're trying to lose weight, cheat meals are a great way to not go insane. But when it's how you eat every single day, that's not a cheat meal. You can't just eat some broccoli and expect the 5,000 calories of grease you just consumed to disappear. So like I want to believe he is joking because I honestly just can't imagine that he's really calling this a cheat meal seriously. But if he is, I think we've lost him. You know, hopefully in a year or two I'll be making a video about the greatest transformation in YouTube history. But as things are going right now, I just don't know if that's gonna happen. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I don't think Nikocado deserves the hate he gets. He is a genuinely intelligent dude, he knows what he's doing, he is definitely just doing this for the money. But at some point he's just gotta realize that not only is this just not worth it, but I honestly think more people would watch him if he tried to get healthy. But he's actually gotta try to test that out and I just don't know if he's willing to. Here's to hoping. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.
Subscribe.